welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel this is Alessandro aka the 3d print geek if this is your first time here and you're into 3d printing photography drones and tech in general start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything hello and welcome again I mean it's been a long time since the last video every time I say I'm gonna try to post more and more and more but the problem is that if you look at this studio it's a mess it looks like a bomb just exploded I'm waiting for furniture everything is slow here in the south of Italy so I really struggle to like, keep calm and not getting angry to all these providers who are supposed to send me all the furniture that I ordered and it's still not here and probably, finger crossed, by September this studio will be all nice and set up and we will have uh, like a tour of the studio because I have like 14 3D printers and I have no idea where to put them and on the sideway my wife wants to kick me out I mean I think it's a problem that relates to a lot of you so what are we talking today? Today we're talking about a 3D printer, we're talking about my first love, we're talking about artillery and in particular we're talking about Sidewinder X2 that you can see over here. I mean it's 2023, I mean they have kept their line like steading on their line for, for a very long time but I want to answer a question today that is is it still worth it in 2023 to buy a Sidewinder X2? And uh, I'll give you the answer at the end after we talk about some spec and something really important. Let's roll the intro first and let's talk about it. So if you're watching this video, you're probably asking yourself like, should I buy a Sidewinder X2? Should I buy an artillery 3D printer in general? I mean, they've been stuck to their like two, three year old technology. Like you see new printers coming out and out and out. And uh, I would say on talking about our relationship between cost, uh, like the price and the value of the product, I think that you don't find on the market something that has that compromise. I mean, currently the Sidewinder X2 goes on AliExpress for 250 euros, which is unthinkable, like because I, I paid for my artillery genius in 2018, I paid like roughly 450 or something like that. We're talking about a large 3D printer. I mean, a 3D printer, you can print everything except ABS at the moment. And uh, it has like bad leveling control. It's like uh, improved body uh, compared to, their, to her sister, which you see like next to it. And it's my go-to 3D printer. If you ask me, like when you have to print something for your kids, what do you use? I use my Sidewinder X1, my Genius and Genius Pro and also the Anna Sidewinder X2 that I recently got. So answer is like, what do you want to do with that? Do you want to start learning? I mean, I can say that in my learning curve, artillery played a fundamental role. I mean, it was the printer I started working on, the first one I put apart, the first one I started like getting my hands dirty on on the, on the hot end and on all the components and understand how it worked and it was easy to put back together i mean there's full of tutorials on it it's a printer that together with probably together with probably uh, creality ender 3 they like uh, work in parallel i mean it's like a printer that's reliable and of course it has some like uh, small issues here and there like the bad temperature that was never fixed i mean it's not uneven but nothing you cannot work around i mean on my x1 i just put a p p pay plate what do you call it the like you know the crunchy plate that like comes off with a magnet that's it works perfectly and i think i'm gonna get one also for the sign winder x2 so on one side the printer is cheap on the other side it's giving you some material to work on it and it's not the 1,500 euros of a P1P or a X1 Carbon uh, from Bamboo Lab. I mean, I'm sure they're great printers. I haven't had the chance to try them yet. I will soon because we ordered them at work. But 
I don't know, I mean, for a young kid, for a 16 year old, 15 year old who want to st wants to start printing stuff and understanding the logic between, between like behind 3D printing, I think that this is like the only meaningful choice. It's, uh, it's reliable, it's, it works, uh, and at the same time, it delivers quality. Because let's talk frankly, artillery delivers and it delivers properly. I mean, the last couple of years, all the prints I've done for people, for customers, they all came out of an artillery 3D printer. There's hundreds of videos of unboxing and reviews of the Sidewinder X2. That's not my aim to like do a, a, a review, but to talk you to talk about the value of this printer in 2023. I mean, I probably you saw the unboxing in the intro. I mean, the printer is exactly the same than uh, uh, than the X1, apart some uh, uh, improved chip or some like the frame and uh, the fact that it's. Uh, 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 it's bed leveling is like automatic it does everything and it does it pretty like pretty perfectly what i should say about like the quality of the print is that even though you're using low quality a 2.0 prints are still impressive i mean it's uh, it's something that i was sure when i ordered the x2 i was sure that i would have had quality i mean at the moment currently if you want to have a create a print farm with many 3d printers i think artillery is the choice i would go for i mean it's the one i know better it's the one i've like, I collected spares of artillery over the last five six years i have a drawer full of spares of artillery i know exactly where to put hands I know exactly how to analyze the print and see what what went wrong and what is the cause of that because I know the printer. So if I would think about doing a print farm of creating a print farm, I would go for Artillery Sidewinder X1 or X2 and Genius and Genius Pro. I mean, reliable printer, very cheap and they get the job done. One of the tests I wanted to do uh, on the Sidewinder X2 was to print this Reno Rhino Dragon from Dancing Toys official. I mean, I'm gonna link all this in the description. This is a printing place articulated Rhino or something like that from Dancing Toys. Special thanks to them because they sent me over the files. They're amazing files, like really well thought. And I find that it works a lot if you have to test a printer and how the printer stands up to this kind of, uh, of pieces. And as you can see, it came out beautifully with this uh, 3D Jake dual color filament. And all the parts work, the feet like hold it, it hold itself so I would say like test passed. I mean, usually calibration stuff lets you understand how a printer works. And this is a pixelated Benchy that I love a lot. And sliced in 2.0, nothing special. Speed at 70. And as you can see, in less than an hour, we have our Benchy. Somebody outside really pissed because they're stuck in the traffic. So what else did I print? There's my kid's bir birthday very soon and I'm printing out some uh, Stumble Guys uh, keyring I found on printables. So if you're looking for a printer that will help you on your daily base and will be and will become something that you will use constantly there's no doubt you need to go on artillery sidewinder x2 or genius pro i mean those are the printer that can deliver result with a very cheap investment investment very low investment i mean the sidewinder x2 at the moment is currently set to 250 euros 
I mean, what do you buy with 250 euros? I mean, if six people go out at dinner here in the south of Italy and spend that in one night. I'm not saying it's no, it's like super cheap, but what you're buying for that value opens opens to your like panorama and professional skills, something that can develop with time as it happened to me. I mean, I fell in love with a 3D printer. I didn't know what a 3D printer was before buying a Genius Pro in 2019 or 2018, I can't remember. But then I started using it. I started understanding the mechanism and all the like engineering behind it. Yes, artillery is still stuck to that like old mentality, but that old mentality actually works. I really didn't want to bore you with all this stuff, but I think that if you clicked on my video, that's what you were looking for. I mean, it was not meant to be a comprehensive review, but to let you understand if it's worth or not buying a Sidewinder X2 from Artillery in 2023. And the answer is fat yes. I mean, it's cheap, it's reliable, and it opens your minds because you can start understanding how 3D printing works and you can develop your skills as I did. I mean, who knows? You buy a Sidewinder 2, X2 today, you start printing, you open a business and you start a farm. I mean, it's something that you need to keep into consideration when you start getting into 3D printing because the printer you start with needs to be reliable. I like I often get questions from people, what printer should I buy? Should I go for a P1P or for an X1 Carbon? That's an expensive 3D printer. You need to dirty, like get your hands dirty before getting something like that. That's something that you buy after you had 10 3D printers. That's not your first 3D printer. This is your first 3D printer because you open it, you see what's wrong, you replace it with two euros, you put it back on, it make it goes and it works. You tweak it, you understand uh, Z-Wobble, you understand everything that goes around the mechanism of a 3D of 3D printing. So hope that was not too long, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And I'll see you guys on the next video.